Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on using Pythagoras theorem to find the area of a triangle. So we've got this isosceles triangle here because these two lengths are the same, those two lengths are the same, and we want to determine the area of this isosceles triangle ABC. Now how in general do we find the area of a triangle? Well if we had the base, let's call it B, and we had the height of the triangle, let's call it H, then the area of that triangle is half times by the base B times by the height H. So we need to work out the base of the triangle, which we can see is 10, but we also need the perpendicular height of the triangle, which is this length, which we don't know. So let's draw out this triangle again, and let's put the heights down it. So this height here, we need to work out that length. Now let's think what we do know. We know that length there is 13, so we've got the 13 here. And if you think about it, if this length at the bottom is 10, so this whole length at the bottom is 10, because this is isosceles, that's actually a line of symmetry, and therefore we've got 5 and 5. The 10 is equally split into two 5, so that's 5 and that's 5. Now, we can actually use Pythagoras to find this height, because look at this triangle here. We've got a right angle triangle, and we've got the hypotenuse, the longest length 13, and we've got one of the shorter sides. So if we call this h for height, again, we can use Pythagoras theorem to work out the height, and then we can find the area. Now remember, if we have one of the shorter length squared, so the five squared, plus the other shorter length squared, so the h squared in this case, that gives you the hypotenuse, the 13 here squared. So we've used Pythagoras on this triangle here, uh, let's just work out what these numbers are. That's 25 plus h squared equals 169. Then we could subtract the 25 from both sides. And then if we square root both sides, we get 12. So we've already seen in other videos how we can use Pythagoras to find a shorter length of a right angle triangle. But now we've got everything we need to find the area of this triangle. The area is going to be, using this formula, half multiplied by the base, which was 10, multiplied by the height, which we worked out was h, was 12, and half times 10 is 5, 5 times 12 is 60, so the answer is 60. Let's get the unit right. Well, the original units were in centimetres, so the unit of area will be centimetres squared, and that is the final answer.